Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria bringing you another Dollar Tree haul. Now I will say this haul was not as exciting as my last Dollar Tree haul, but I did manage to pick up some more new items again this week, and so I thought I would share my finds with all of you. So as usual, here is an overview of the things that I picked up, and I will go through them one by one so that you can have a better look. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to begin the haul, I picked up some more of these plastic tumblers, and these are BPA free, which is great. And usually when I see a new print, I pick it up because my son collects these. And this by far was my favorite one. It is the Marvel characters. And then I picked up this Ninja Turtle one. as well this Avengers one. Then I picked up these sandwich containers. Now I do like these ones because they are deeper than the regular ones. These are BPA free as well and they are by Zach Designs. So I was happy to come across these especially with the Star Wars print on it. And the two that I found were this one here and then the second one and these were the only two prints that I found in this container okay I picked up some craft items I don't really know what I'm doing with these things yet and if I get around to doing anything I've been so busy um, being that I was sick for a bit over a week and so I got a little bit behind in some things and so I'm trying to catch up but in the event that I do find some time I would like to make some DIYs hopefully I get around to them um, but I don't really have anything specific in mind just yet um, but I did pick up a couple packages of these glitter foam shapes now in another haul that I did I did pick up some smaller hearts. Uh, I can't remember the quantity that was in them, but this is a pack of 12, so they are much larger than the previous ones that I purchased. And you get six red and then six pink. So the way these are, you have the glitter on the fronts of the heart, and then on the back, they are just the plain foam but I did like the size of the hearts, so I picked up two packages. Then I picked up some chalkboard tags because they were so cute in the shape of hearts. You get four pieces in each package, so I picked up two. I then came across these wood inspirational stickers. I had seen these before, I didn't pick them up, and then I regretted it when I got home and after many weeks, I have seen them again, so I picked up again another couple packages of these, and I'll just go over what they say. They are the same package. This one says, home is where your story begins, live and grow. I love this one that says family, love lives here, cherished moments and happy together with a little gold heart in the center. So cute. I have not seen these before. I picked up a couple of these foam size signs. They are 5.5 inches by 15.5 inches. And the only colors I saw were pink and purple. They have two holes at the top and they have inserted a ribbon so that you can hang it. So I thought those were cute. I picked up four of these caddies. Now the Dollar Tree does carry a caddy very similar to this but it is larger in size. These are mini ones which I was really excited to see because I think this is a nicer size to put on the desk. I mean the other one is a great size if you have more room but if you don't have a lot of space this one would work great so I picked up one in blue one in red one in yellow and one in green 
I then picked up three bunches of roses. I think the pink ones are so beautiful and I really love it when they are more tight, when the rose is more tight. So I picked up two of these really pretty light pink ones and then I picked up one bunch of this darker pink with a bit of fuchsia mixed in it. As well, I came across another one of these plastic vases and I really like these because they are a nice hard plastic. This was the only one that I saw out of the three Dollar Trees I went to. I only find these at the one Dollar Tree and <clears throat> they did have a couple other colors. Green, I know this came in green and I believe the other color I saw was blue but this was the only one that was clear, which is what I like, so I just picked up the one that they had. I was super excited to find these at my Dollar Tree. I have never seen these before. Either I have not looked good enough or they were hidden somewhere, but I did see them this week and I went a little crazy. I picked up 10 packages of this Linda laundry soap. It is from Aurora and it is Il Sapone della Nonna, meaning Grandma's Soap. And it is a laundry soap and you get 185 grams or 6.5 ounces. So again, I was really happy to find this because this is a great stain remover. Okay, I also picked up some of this instant yeast. It, yeast. it is the quick rise. It rises 50% faster. It is by Red Star and you get three packets for $1.25. So I picked up two um, of those and it is also non-genetically certified, so non-GMO, which is great. I then came across this as seen on TV product. It's called the New Yoker, the innovative egg yolk remover. So you insert the eggs inside of this little container here and it says it holds three to five eggs. You simply squeeze and release. And it says on the bottom, less fat, less cholesterol and less calories. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then I picked up these scented sink strainer and stoppers. Now I don't know if it is the same company. The packaging looks very similar. Um, what's written on the packaging as well. The one says sink it fresh and then the other one says sink sense. Um, I don't think I've seen these before, but I decided to pick up four packages. Two in the Hawaiian paradise and then the one in behind is Hawaiian surf scent and then I also picked up two of the yellow ones the first one is called lemon fresh and then the one in behind is citrus twist and I guess it is a patented dual scent the scent is in the cap and in the basket so I'm excited to give those a try and see how they work and then I picked up this whisk here. I was in need of a whisk and there were two sizes. There was a larger one and then this smaller one, so I just picked up the smaller one. Next up, I picked up some more seasonal socks. So I'll just go through them. I think I have five pairs here. So the first one has these different color four leaf clovers, which is cute. Then this one here has some rainbows on them. Then I love this combination of this lime green with this fluorescent pink and white and the little clovers. Then this one here, really cute. The orange clovers have some glitter in the fabric, which is really cute. And then this last one has some kisses. 
all over the socks in pinks and fuchsia and then there's a little mixture of some clovers in there as well. I then came a cup across a couple of cosmetic bags. Now these I would say are probably my favorite style of a cosmetic bag. There are some cosmetic bags that I'm on the lookout for that I have seen hauled. They are a see-through cosmetic bag which I like those as well because then you can see what you have inside of your bag but besides that these ones here are my favorite so I picked up two the first one here has these lips um, and lipsticks on the front with this black and white almost looks like a zebra pattern and you can fit quite a bit in these and then the second one which is by far my favorite I just love the color combination of this and I only saw the one or I would have picked up another but these are great and I like doing either um, a walking pharmacy in there or to use it as a cosmetic case or to keep my dental supplies in these. I also like purchasing these if I'm going to be giving a gift to someone and if the gift is small enough or if they're smaller items I just place them inside and then wrap it with a clear cellophane wrap and I think it makes a really nice presentation as well and then it is part of the gift as well. Okay, so next I came across some more blind bags. I had picked up some of these in a recent haul. They were Guardians of the Galaxy, and they are UB's figurines. But when I seen these, then I knew I had to pick them up. They are the Godzilla, and anyone who's a fan of Godzilla would love these. It shows that there are 10 designs, and I was really excited. Um, and I'm hoping to go back and get some more. I hope they still find them. So I thought these were great. I then picked up these Superpower um, Otaku mini posters. And I had seen not these particular ones, but the same type in Harry Potter as well as The Flash and Batman, one of the movies. I can't remember which one. But they were more from the actual shows but this one here I picked it up because I just love the classical um, cartoon um, from the superpowers and I guess there are two four six eight different posters and you get too many posters now I had already opened these and I ended up picking up the same ones which I was a little bit disappointed about but I have two boys so I will give them each one but I'm hoping to find the other ones I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like now the size of these posters are 10 inch by 20 inch so they are a nice size but I just love the way that they look so this is the first one and then this is the second one so I'm hoping to go back and get some more I hope to not pick up the same ones but hopefully find some different ones but I was really excited to come across these and then I picked up some magnetic picture frames which are really cute. The first one that I picked up is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And these fit a four by six picture. The second one is Disney Fairies. The third one is Iron Man. The fourth one is the Disney princesses. And then the last one I picked up is Ultimate Spider-Man.
Okay, so I've hauled some items from the Dollar Tree that are for your planners. And some of the items that I bought were the stickers or the little tabs, um, the reminders, some pens, some uh, magnets for your planner. Well, now I came across these ones and I had not seen them before. And they're just mini weekly planners. So there's 54 weeks in this, and I did pick up two because I thought I could keep one in my purse, as well as in my kitchen, I have a very small desk that is my kitchen um, desk, and so I'll keep one in there as well. So I opened one up just to show you what it looks like on the inside. So the cover has this plastic or laminate over the front, and then when you open it up, you come across this first page that says notes, and then it starts your week of, and then it has Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it gives you this space on the bottom for some notes. So I thought that was a really cute mini planner to keep on hand and jot down some important things that you have to do during your week. So I was happy to come across these. Then I picked up this three pack of notebooks and these are really cute, especially if you know anyone who loves dogs. So I'll go ahead and open this as well to show you the different notebooks. Now there are, I don't know if it says, there are 40 line sheets and the size of this is four inches by six inches. And again, you get three. So the first one is this dog print and it says woof and dog. I think it's, yes, dog. And then the second one is this black with bones and paw prints on it, which is really cute. And then the third one is this horizontal stripe. I really like the colors of this. So really nice to keep on hand as well. Or if you wanna split it up, if you're making a little gift basket, you can include one in each basket. Really cute. And then I picked up some more notebooks and I really like the prints of these. So the front cover has this, um, when you lift it up, it's this thicker laminate. So here is your cover, but then it's protected with this, which is nice. And it has this floral print all around the edge. This one says good vibes only. And this notebook has 80 sheets and the size of this is five inches by seven inches. So really nice. The second one says wild and free. So that is the print on the laminate. And then you have this um, cover that looks like wood. Then this one here, it says let it go. And then the fourth one, I thought I had five, but I have four, is my favorite. It says, follow your dream. I picked up a couple of tote bags, plastic tote bags. And I picked up two in the same print because I just loved it so much. So it has all these different types of coffee mugs and tumblers. And it says Java, fresh brewed, cup of joe, dark roast, time for coffee. So I thought these are really cute to give with a gift. And then I picked up some boxes, which I thought were so colorful and got me excited for summer. 
Now there were two sizes that I saw. So here is the larger size and here is the smaller size. Um, I don't think it says the size on these, but you can see the difference. So here is this first one with these flip flops sand bucket and the sun and the colors are just adorable then this one has watermelon a piece of watermelon that's glittering or has glitter on it and this ice cream cone and this glass of lemonade this one has a beach ball on it really cute and then this one with the beach umbrella, chair, and sun. Cute polka dots, the larger ones and the smaller ones. Really pretty. All right, guys. So to end this week's haul, I have some money banks to show you. Now, out of the seven, I've only ever seen the one at my Dollar Tree, and it would be this silver piggy right here. Super cute. But this time around, I picked up some more friends. So in silver as well is this one here, which is either a porcupine or a hedgehog. Really cute. And then this rubber ducky with the crown on top of his head. And then probably my favorite is this golden elephant. Again with a crown on his head. Super, super cute. And then these ones in behind are like mason jars with a silver metal lid. The slit is on top. This one here says Adventure Fund and I picked up two like this. And then I could only find one that looked like this that says Rainy Day. And it has this cloud hanging on a clothesline with a couple of clothespins. And it as well is super cute. So that'll do it. I'm so excited whenever I get the chance to go to the Dollar Tree and then find some new items, at least new to me, and then come home, make a video, and share them with you. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I so hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.